hey guys i hope everybody is fine so today i will show you how to modify sub element in the revit floor and plus i will show you how to create the curved stone for the footpath and how to create the zebra cross on the road so let's jump into the tutorial so let's get started I will create the new file and I will choose the units I always select the centimeters you can choose as you like and then I will create the floor for the floor I will just draw a one rectangle and give the size 2 meter this is going to be our footpath and then I will draw the reference plan to modify the elements so I will draw the reference plan and then I will offset this reference plan to 1 meter create the copies you can choose the distance as you like this is just to give you idea and then I will go to the floor select the floor and then add the points this is the main thing so I will add the points as you see and then I will go to the 3d view and select the one point and just change the value to minus 15 centi I think I will change this value from 15 to 14.5 centi why because I want to keep this footpath edge above 0.5 centi from the road so our main tutorial is done here now the next I will show you how to create the curved stone alongside the footpath for that I will go to the component and choose the model in place and I will choose the generic model and I will just give the name curved stone okay now I will choose the sweep and then I will select the pick path so I will just select the edges and then I will choose the edit profile go to the front view a right view sorry and then here I will draw my curved stone sketch I will just draw a line you can give the size as you like I will just draw the sketch here as you see Here I will give a minor slope and then I will give a small groove 0.5 cm. Why I used to give this groove when I render the project then I can see the difference between the curb stone and the interlock tiles it looks more visible and now I give the radius to 0.5 cm to the outer edge and then I will check the material what is there okay it's concrete okay it's fine click ok and then ok finish the sketch now change the view so here is our footpath is almost done with the curved stone and the slope now what we will do we will just mirror this footpath with the curved stone to the other side for that I will go to the architecture tab and then reference plan and here I will give the width I want to create this road almost 8 meter width so I will give the value 4000 no sorry 400 because it's in the centimeters so I will just draw one line and then I will select the footpath along with the curved stone curved stone is not visible here I don't know why and then I will just select and select the mirror keep the copy on and then click so here my footpath is mirrored but 
the curb stone is not mirrored because it was not visible in the level one so what I will do I will go to the side click on the footpath and simply again the mirror so here our footpath on both side is ready so now I will create the site for that I will just go to the massing and site and then I will create the topo surface click on the topo surface and give just points four points are enough because I am not going to give any slope there and now I will create here the sub region I will just create the lines alongside this footpath both side I will just draw the two lines and then I will close those edges like I can also create the I can create the rectangle also it will be more easy but okay let's see I already have started this thing so just close the lines and then okay just trim those lines and I will drag near to the footpath edges okay the road is almost done now I will just change the material to asphalt yeah, right on asphalt okay first material okay and now I will create the side line road lines and then zebra cross so I will go to the architecture tab and then component model in place and here I will choose the generic model that would be better and then I will give the name road line click OK and choose the extrude select the line selection and give the offset 50 centimeter and then draw the line click on the edge of the footpath so it will draw and now I will give the distance again 10 centi and draw it again repeat the same thing and then I will draw the line to close these rectangles yeah there I need to trim because it was I already give the offset there so I just draw the line without giving changing the value so here our roadside line is ready I will change the material for that I will go here create new material and give the rename give the name road lines and then appearance I always change here generic and I would like to give the name particular name I give the road line so here I will just give the color to white apply ok and here I will give the extrude value it can be like a 1 centi or 0.5 centi or 0.7 whatever you can give I just want to give you idea so you can give the value as you like so here the road lines are ready now the next I will draw the zebra cross so I will just draw one rectangle and then I will change the width to 30 centi is fine and then I will move a little bit towards footpath side just align with the road line and then I will copy the same with the distance 60 centi so between these two zebra cross lines the distance also is going to be the same you can even increase or decrease now I will just repeat those copies this last one maybe now I need that 
and I just copy again I just deleted okay now I will just move a little bit to align with this road line and then yes the material is the same extrude value will be same and then okay so here I will change the graphics display so here you notice the floor and the road line everything is just aligned with the topography so what I will do I will just change the topography for now I will change the topography points value to minus 15 centimeter so I will change their elevation to minus 15 centimeter I will repeat the same for the other three points minus 15 select this one minus 15 and here you go so here our road with the slope and with curved stone and the road lines and the zebra cross is done thank you for watching this video see you next time with another tutorial mm -hmm.